Hello, I'm Atuba George. Now, happy Easter. Praise <laughs> God. Today is Easter Monday. Now, we, we, we are rejoicing because Jesus not only died, but this is the most important part. He rose from the dead. He said he was going to rise. And he did. Praise God. And the Bible said God raised him up. See, how did God raise him up? By the Holy Spirit. Praise God. It's the same Holy Spirit that he has given to us. Listen, this week I'm going to be sharing with you very, very important things. I don't want you to miss any of this broadcast this week. Listen, set your alarm so that the moment it's posted on YouTube, you are there to get it. Praise God. Now, Jesus rose from the dead. Like I said, a lot of believers don't even know why he rose from the dead. Last week I shared with you about the rapture. How's the rapture going to be? What's it going to be like? We, we dealt with all that last week. And I believe I must have helped a lot of, clear a lot of things in your mind. So it's surely going to happen. Now one thing I didn't add last week, which I'm going to tell you today is this. When Jesus was raptured, he wasn't the only one that was raptured. See, he wasn't. Book of Acts chapter 1, I want to show you something. Now look at that, chapter 1 and verse 9. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. Did you see that? A cloud received him out out of their sight. Now this is very, very important because I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you something in Matthew, Matthew chapter 27, verse 50, Jesus, when he had cried again with a loud voice, yielded up the ghost. And behold, the veil in, of the temple was rent in, rent in twain from the top to the bottom. And the earth did quake and the rocks rent. Now look at verse 52. And when you read your Bible, I hope you didn't miss this part. Verse 22 says, And watch, and the graves were open, and many bodies of the saints which slept arose. Did you read that? This is Matthew talking. Nobody told him this gist. He was there. Praise God. And the graves were opened, and many bodies of the saints which slept arose, and came out of the graves after his resurrection. Did you see that? So during when Jesus died, and there was earthquake, something else happened. And that was part of the reason there was an earthquake. Something happened. Graves were opened. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. You know, when, when, when you see this and you just think of what's going to happen next. I told you something. There is nothing that is going to happen that has never happened before. Nothing new. So, now he says, wait, 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 the graves opened. And, and many of the saints which slept, that means which had died, Talk about Abraham, Isaac, David, Jacob, the rest of them that have died. They what? Arose. And they came out of their graves. They came out of their graves after his resurrection. So when Jesus rose from the dead, he didn't rise alone. Praise God. Oh, He didn't rise alone. So that's why the Bible says he he. He led captivity captive. And then he got all them. I told you. I told you this. Death is a spirit. You know, we make this mistake. I wish the church world would catch this. We make this mistake when a believer dies, when a pastor dies, when, when someone who we know we was working with God dies. We say, oh, he has gone to be with the Lord. No, sir. He is not with the Lord. He has been held captive by the spirit of death. If not... I mean, look at David. The Bible said they God's testimony about David. He said he did everything right. He did everything right, apart from one, the matter of Uriah. So don't you think that David would have qualified to be with the Lord? But he wasn't with the Lord. Abraham wasn't with the Lord. Oh, 
Thank you, Lord Jesus. They were held captive by the spirit of death. Now, that's where we get the term Abraham's bosom. Now, that, that, that came alive with the story Jesus told about the rich man and Lazarus. And Jesus said the, the, the Lazarus died and was carried, you know, to Abraham's bosom. So it was carried to a place. And then the rich man looked and saw Lazarus leaning on Abraham's bosom. Now, that's actually saying he was, he was resting, you know, with Abraham. And, 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 and that's where we got that, this thing, that, that talk about Abraham's bosom from. But you see, even then, from the story Jesus gave, see, there was just a gulf between the righteous and the unrighteous. But they were not so far from them. So at least they could speak and hear one another. Whatever means they were speaking. But that's to tell you that they were not in heaven. Anybody that dies till this day doesn't go to heaven. I'm sorry to break that news to you. You may not like it, but it's the truth. Where do they go to then? They are held captive by the spirit of death. Even though they were wrapped, they were even though they were righteous people, but they are still held captive by the spirit of death. What are they waiting for? They are waiting for the day that they will be freed from the spirit of death. So every great man you can think about that have died, he is waiting for us. Waiting for us? Yes, waiting for us. Oh, listen, I'm gonna share things with you this week that will blow your mind. If, if, if you open your hearts to the Spirit of God, I'm telling you something. You know, the Lord has been talking to me and said, the world, everybody's talking about the world is coming to an end. Is the church getting prepared? That, that, that's what I'm going to be dealing with this week. Are we getting prepared? Every righteous man you can think about that have died, they are not with the Lord. Get this clear. They are not with him. All of them are being held captive. They got held. Listen, that's what I'm telling you. Look, oh, listen. You know what? Let, let, let's continue tomorrow. Let's continue tomorrow. Praise God. It, it, it's so holy right here. Now. Let's just continue tomorrow. God bless you. Bye bye.